Hey guys, I'm Joey Gazal, founder of The Main and good friend of Grazia Middle East, and I want to welcome you to my kitchen, where I will be showing you how to elevate your everyday dishes into restaurant quality experiences. Today's dish is ultimate comfort food. It really reminds me of my childhood, absolute nostalgia. It is a dish that always has a place in my menus. Um, there's many variations of it. You can try it with lobster. I've had it with fresh truffles. You can even add to it foie gras if you really want to be crazy. Uh, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make Grana Padano macaroni and cheese. And Grana Padano is a cheese from the Po River Valley that's excellent for this dish because it's quite mellow. It uh, has a fine grainy texture and doesn't overpower the dish. Now, not a lot of people know this, but Grana Padano is also completely lactose free. Something to do with the aging process. Okay, I'm just gonna start off with the bechamel. I'm gonna melt the butter, about a half a cup of butter on medium heat. Once that's melted on medium heat, we're gonna add a bit of all purpose flour in there. Make sure to add it slowly so it doesn't turn into a clumpy mess. And then just stir that together, add in your cooking cream into that slowly to get that right consistency, make sure that it's liquid. And there you go. Some black pepper and some onion powder and some salt uh, to taste. I prefer to use some molden salt. Make sure to add about two tablespoons of salt at least. And now I'm just gonna add in a bit of chicken stock, keep it very liquid. Elevate this dish is a little secret ingredient that I like to add to my mac and cheese, which is a hot sauce. A couple of dashes of that really brings out the flavor. And moving on to the cheese, we're gonna start off with our mature cheddar first, about a cup of that. Our fontina cheese, which is that stringy cheese that you need, that gives that gooey texture that we all love in macaroni and cheese. And a cup of that. For the star ingredient, our Grana Padano cheese. Okay, so we're gonna boil the water now and make sure that it's well salted. Add in your macaroni and just boil it till it's just al dente. Then we're gonna put that macaroni in that cheesy, gooey goodness and mix that around. It's great. We're gonna now work on our crust. Get some olive oil in a hot pan, add some garlic in there, some chopped coriander, and add in some panko breadcrumbs and mix that around. And that is a gorgeous crust now that we can add on top of this macaroni. So here we just put the macaroni into these beautiful tall ramekins and add this crust on top. And we're just gonna finish it off with some extra Grana Padano right there. So just preheat the oven at 250 at a grill. We're gonna put our mac and cheese in there just for a few minutes to make sure to just really brown the crust on the top, make sure not to burn. That forms a beautiful garlicky crust. It's really that crunch that brings it all together. And there you have it. Grana Padano macaroni and cheese from my home to yours. Thank you for watching The Sizzle. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next time.